In this video, I am going to talk about the concept of optimization in calculus. Calculus is a very powerful tool for solving the optimization problem. Using this concept of uh, optimization, I can find maximum or minimum value of a function often considering some limitations or some constraints. We can solve a number of optimization problems in areas like physics by minimizing the energy, in the area of economics by maximizing the profit and in the field of engineering by optimizing the design. Let us discuss uh, some of the examples how optimization is useful in the branch of calculus. A rectangular garden is to be constructed using a rock wall as one side of the garden and wire fencing on the other three sides. Okay. So what do you mean by rectangle? A rectangle means there are four sides. Out of the four sides, the length of the two sides are equal and the breadth of the two sides are equal. It should be like this. Okay. So as per the condition, out of the four sides, one side we need to use a rock wall. There is no need for wire fencing. So let us consider this side I am filling with rocks. So we have the other three sides should be fencing with the help of wire. So these three sides we are using wire fencing. Okay, so this side is rock and the other sides we have wire fencing. So since I told you this side and this side have equal area let us denote it as x so if this is x this is also x the other one i denoted by y here we no need to construct any variable because we are using only wire I mean, uh, rock fencing this side okay so as per the now uh, the problem is i need to fencing these areas okay so we want to maximize this area with a constraint one side is rock wall the other three sides are wire fencing right so let us start with this value x plus this side value y plus this side value x so i can say x plus y plus x is equal to the total wire fencing needed to do the garden that is given by 120 so I can say x plus y plus x equal to 120. So this x plus this x will give you 2x plus y equal to 120. So I am going to express y in terms of a function x. So let us write y equal to 120 minus 2x. Name it as equation number 1. We know that area of the rectangle is given by a is equal to x times y. That is the length multiplied by breadth. So here I will keep x acts as it is. Instead of this y, we are using this value 120 minus 2x. So we will get x 120 minus 2x. By multiplying this, this will become 120x and this will become minus 2x squared. So now uh, let me find the first derivative. So that is a dash. So a dash equal to derivative of 120x will give you 120. Derivative of minus 2x squared will give you minus 4x. Then I have to set the first derivative value equal to 0. That is 120 minus 4x equal to 0. That is minus 4x equal to minus 120. That is x equal to minus 120 divided by minus 4 that is x equal to 30 then we will substitute x equal to 30 in equation number 1 what is equation number 1 equation number 1 is y equal to 120 minus 2x so here i will substitute x equal to 30 
so that will give you 120 minus 2 times of 30 so y equal to 120 minus 60 or I can say y equal to simply 60 so the value of x equal to 60 and the value of y equal to sorry the value of x equal to 30 and the value of y equal to 60 to find the maximum area I am going to find the second derivative that is a double dash so how I find a double dash we have already got a dash value so if I differentiate this a dash value again with respect to x if I differentiate again with respect to x that will give you a double dash so derivative of 120 is 0 derivative of minus 4x will give you minus 4 so a double dash equal to minus 4 since the second derivative value is a minus number I can say that it is a less than 0 value we say the function a of x has maximum area we need to find the maximum area also because in the question they will ask you what is the maximum area so what is the maximum area we have already say that area of the rectangle is length times breadth or x times y so a equal to x multiply y x value is 30 times y value is 60 so a is equal to this is in terms of feet this is also in terms of feet so if I multiply I will get 1080 feet power 2 let us discuss one more example find two positive integers whose sum is 16 and the sum of whose squares is minimum okay let us begin to assume the first number is equal to x as per the condition the sum of two positive integers is 16 so that means if the first number is x I can take the second number is y so x plus y is equal to 16 I need to express both in same variable so let me write y in terms of x so we have y equal to 16 minus x okay so the first number is x the second number is 16 minus x now we'll use the second condition what is the second condition sum of whose squares should be minimum so let me write the function as y is equal to sum of squares of the two numbers my first number is x so square of this number will be x power 2 my second number is 16 minus x so square of this will be 16 minus x the power 2 and we need to sum so I will write plus so y equal to x power 2 plus 16 minus x the whole square in other words sum of squares of the first number squares of the second number okay so if I differentiate this I will get y dash equal to 2x using chain rule this will become 2 times of 16 minus x and minus 1 if I simplify y dash equal to 2x plus 2 times minus 16 plus x or y dash equal to 2x minus 32 minus 2x so 16 minus x minus 1 so that will give you minus 16 plus x if I multiply this one minus 32 minus 2x okay so by simplifying this I will get this is not minus this is plus because 2 times x will give you plus so we have 2x uh, minus 32 let me read it again so here we have 2x if I multiply this will give you minus 32 if I multiply 2 with x will give you 2x so we have y dash equal to 2x plus 2x 4x minus 32 then I have to set 
the first derivative value equal to 0. So y dash equal to 0. That means 4x minus 32 equal to 0. 4x equal to 32. x equal to 32 by 4. x equal to <coughs> 8. Now I have to find the second derivative that is y dash, y double dash. What is y double dash? Derivative of y dash. So we know that it is very simple y double dash equal to 4. This is greater than 0. So I can say this has a minimum value. Okay. Now I want to know the two positive number. We have already declared that one of the number is h. To find the second number, we are going to use this condition. So how I assume the second number? My second number is y is equal to 16 minus x. So in this equation, let me substitute x equal to 8. So that will give you y is equal to 16 minus 8 or y equal to 8. So that two positive numbers are 8 and 8. You can also easily check whether the answer is right or wrong. See the condition here. What is the condition? The condition is the sum of two positive integers should be equal to 16. So in our case, we have x equal to 8 and y equal to 8. If I do addition for this, that will give you 16. So whatever I got, it's correct for this question. Question number 3. The sum of two positive numbers is 75. Maximize the product of the first number and square of the second number. So let us assume the first number is x, the second number is y. Then as per the condition, let me write the product of the first number and square of the second number. So let me define p is equal to x times y plus 2. From the first condition, we can have x plus y equal to 75 or I can express y also in terms of x. So that will give you y equal to 75 minus x. Even if I want to express x in terms of y, you can write like this also. x equal to 75 minus y. Okay, so both are right. It is up to you. You can write y in terms of x or you can write x in terms of y. So here I am writing x in terms of y. So I have 75 minus y. Now these two values substitute in the function. P equal to x times y power 2. In place of x, we have 75 minus y and y power 2. This is p. Okay, so p equal to 75 y power 2 minus y power 3. If I find the first derivative, that will give you 150 y minus 3 y power 2. Then set first derivative value equal to 0, we will get 3y squared equal to 150y or y squared minus 50y equal to 0 or y times y minus 50 equal to 0. So we have two options y equal to 0 or y equal to 50. The question is maximize. Okay. So let us take the second value y equal to 50 is the maximum value so we have x equal to 75 minus y so here i substitute the y value which is 50 so i i got x equal to 25 so we have x equal to 25 and y equal to 50 these are the two numbers how do you know the answer is right by adding the two numbers so 25 plus 50 that is equal to 75 which is given in the question okay so the two numbers are 25 and 50 so here i have given two questions with answers try yourself see you in the next video thank you